All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to show you a beautiful way of factoring polynomials. The only caveat is though, it only works for symmetric polynomials, namely ones who read the same way from the left to the right. So for instance, let's try to find the zeros of 6x to the fourth minus 35x cubed plus 62x squared minus 35x plus six equals zero. And the first step is to notice the following. So first of all, zero is not a root of this because otherwise we would get six equals zero, which wouldn't make sense. So it's completely fine to divide by x squared. You'll see why we need to do that soon because then once we do that, we get six x squared minus 35 x plus 62 minus 35 over x plus six over x squared equals zero. And then what you would like to do, you would like to combine terms that are similar. In particular, this six x squared goes together with the six over x squared and the minus 35 x goes together with minus 35 over x. And this in turn simplifies to six x squared plus one over x squared minus 35 x plus one over x and the lonely 62 okay. equals zero. And now here's the nice thing. So now step two, this term actually simplifies. So step two, because notice the following. So x squared plus one over x squared. What we would like to do is somehow complete the square. So notice you can write this as x squared plus two plus one over x squared minus two. So just adding and subtracting two, but the nice thing is this actually becomes a square because this is x squared, this is one over x squared, and this becomes two times x times one over x. and then minus two. So in fact, this whole thing becomes a square. It becomes x plus one over x squared minus two. And this thing we can just plug into here. So in the end, now step three, our polynomial becomes as follows. So step three. We still had the six. So six times x plus one over x squared minus two. And then what was it? Minus 35 x plus one over x. And then I believe we are the lonely 62. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> 62 equals zero. And now let's expand this out. So six times x plus one over x squared minus 12 minus 35 x plus one over x and then plus 62 equals zero. And then this becomes six times x plus one over x squared and then minus 35 x plus one over x plus 50 equals zero. And here's a beautiful thing to notice. This symmetric polynomial, and in fact, I believe any symmetric polynomial, what this is, is just an equation in x plus one over x. So here it becomes a quadratic equation in x plus one over x. So let's just call this w. Then this becomes w squared. And in the end, we get the following. So step four. So let W be X plus one over X. So let me border that. Laisse-moi l'encadrer. That's how you say it in French. Uh, then this becomes six W squared. Box it, that's what I want. So let's box this, then this becomes six W squared minus 35 W plus 50 equals zero. 
But this you can you know, use a quadratic formula, for instance, but let's just uh, divide it by six. And then so we get W squared minus 35 divided by six W plus 50 divided by six equals zero. And so W squared minus uh, again, 35 over six W plus 25 over three equals zero. And now use the quadratic formula. I'm just skipping this step, but you can actually show that this is W minus five halves times W minus 10 thirds equals zero. And in fact, the product becomes 50 over six, which is 25 thirds, which tells you that W is either five halves or W equals 10 thirds. But what is W? W is X plus one over X, and that allows us to solve for X. So step, what is it? Uh, step five. So what we get, either X plus one over X equals five halves, or X plus one over X equals 10 thirds. And then you can multiply by x. So you get x squared plus one equals five half x. So x squared minus five halves x plus one equals zero, which you can factor out as I believe x minus two times x minus one half equals zero, which gives you x equals two or one half or you play the same spiel, but with uh, the second equation, x squared plus one equals 10 thirds x, x squared minus 10 thirds x plus one, plus x, ah, uh, plus one equals zero. I'm really making the weirdest noises. And this becomes, I believe, x minus three times x minus one third equals zero. And that gives you x equals 3 comma 1 third, which by the way, uh, completely normal. So there's a video I've done. So symmetric polynomials, their roots always come in reciprocals. So if one is two, the other one is one half, is one is three, the other one is one third. So in the end, summa summarum, we get that the roots are two, one half, three, and one third. So that is what our uh, polynomial becomes, has those roots. In particular, if you want, you can just factor this if case you're curious. I believe it's six times x minus two, x minus one half, x minus three, x minus one third. So again, super neat way of factoring a polynomial. And all right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.